Oh, and don't think I forgot about this bald bastard. You have I know. one job, but you one job, one little smooch, one, one little job. puck on the cheek, and you was whipped into some cyborg coochie. Welcome, welcome, and welcome back to another reaction video. This is your boy Bob, and right now, I said I was going to cover all of the most disrespectful moments in anime history from CJ the Champ, and we're going to continue on going, working our way backwards, you know, it's kind of a little, it piqued my interest on the seventh one, then the sixth one came out, you know, before the seventh one, so I was like, okay, it's, I got to see all I got to see it all the way through. So we're working our way back. This is number five. So we're about to go ahead and jump right into it. Let's get it. All right, here we go. Get this so working. He brings this man to the fight. So then he says, I right, the class is in session. Today we will be learning how to beat an ass 101. I would like to thank our volunteer right here. Uh, I don't even know his name, but he will be used as a demonstration today. What? I beg your pardon? Lord have mercy. Here we go. Already starting off wrong already. Already. All right, ladies and gentlemen, All it right. is finally time for another installment of the most disrespectful moments in anime history. The series that we observe some of the most outrageous, most outlandish Ooh, moments that ever seen. That was seen a nice slap. That just make you look at the screen like, well, goddamn, what did they do to make them make this that mad? Ooh. So, without further ado, roll them. All right, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. let's roll it. First up to the plate is Sukuna being a dog. So Itadori Ooh. and Fushiguro are okay. fighting this ugly ass boy. What the f is that? What in the world Jesus is Christ, bro? That is just ugly. So Itadori tells Fushiguro, "I right, listen, bro. I'm just gonna have to let that doll come out." So Sukuna comes uh -oh. out and he's like, "Hey, what's good with you, cuz?" So the curse bags up and he's like, "Ah, oh, hell no!" Nah. Oh, no got all them eyes. Guy? So then he starts talking to him like, "Boy, I tell you, boy, you ugly as sh the f you supposed to be a fish, the hell? barnacle nigga." So he jumps back and starts charging up. Is that a Hadouken? So Brad shoots it, but he just yeah. stops it with one hand. Huh? Then he looks at him <laughs> and says, you ugly lip motherfucker. Really? Boy, I ought to beat your ass. So Brad just face wow. to the ground. Then he starts looking at him like, damn, cuz the fade just started and your ass already on the ground. Nigga, you best get your sorry ass Ooh. up. Yo, dog stepped on him. So then he tries to grab him, but he rips his arm off. Dude said, damn, boy, that gorilla grip done backfired on your ass. What? And yo, he is laughing while he is doing this. Yo, this man is a demon. <laughs> so later on, while he is continuing to torment this thing, the curse comes down and starts laughing at him. So then he starts looking he at him. He grew an like, arm oh, back? You got that big ass grin on your face. You think shit is... Hold up, did he just grow a whole arm back? Okay, he said he ripped his arm off, so I think he grew an arm back. We or something? Goof ass boy, I'll show you what's sweet. So then he hits him with the domain expansion. Ooh. Got on my face. What? Wow. Oh, boy, turn this man into a fish fillet cooked well done. So then he says, I yeah. think you, you can come back out now. Hello, can you hear me, nigga? But then he gets no response, so he's like, huh. So about a minute later, he pops up right behind Fushi Girl. So he's like, what's good, cuz? Just to let you know, I'm about to beat your ass. What's so up with this dude? Ass, I'm going to eat this crusty ass finger. Mm -mm -mm. The flavors are melting on my tongue. Wish I had a little bit of salt on the door. I ain't gonna lie to you, my boy. Now, time to beat your ass. So Fushi Girl starts swinging, but look at this man. He what is in the world? He's hands in his pockets. Oh, nah, bro. That's how you That's know you're so doing when the don't even want to take his hands out. So bro, like, that is straight up disrespectful. This dude is moving around, bobbing and weaving. He looking like that, um, what is that? The uh, the weevil wobble thing, you know, you keep hitting on it and stuff, and then it just be flapping back and forth and everything like that. Instead of him hitting it, he just basically 
ducking and dodging. This is exactly how he's looking right now. He found Pucky so soaking us like, damn boy, you can't hear shit. Come on now, put your back into it. Oh, boy gave him the backhand of backhand. the backhand. So Fushy Girl trying everything. He trying to jump him with the snake, the owl. He just eating it. Oh my god. So then he comes what? back down, grabs him. Dang. Says, Come on now, there's a whole world out there we got to think, nigga. Yo, bro, check his whole body. He said, a whole new world. Then bro starts playing Whoa. ping pong with him. Boom. Bro said, Come on now, get your sorry ass up. So as Ooh. this man is flying through my the God. buildings, the owl comes in and picks him up. He right behind him and he like, boy, that Oh my God. No, 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 no. That owl ain't did nothing to nobody. Oh, that beating didn't even make any sense. He no, it didn't. beat this man for just for absolutely no reason at all. <laughs> my God, yo, this man is disgusting. Yeah, when the rest of this manga gets animated, Homeboy is most definitely getting a full video. Stop recording yeah. your podcast on Zoom and start recording on Riverside. You get an unbelievably high quality recording, separate tracks for video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, next up on the list is Gojo's PowerPoint presentation. So while bro is okay. on the way to go meet the principal, he tells the driver, yo, stop the car. So as the dude leaves, he says, I, right, you could come out now. So then this ugly ass boy from really? the top rope and dog said, what's good, nigga? Get ready to become a pack. Got one eye. So start throwing out everything. Bro threw some fat ass mosquitoes at him. He came from the side and made him ghost rider. And then he decided to hit him with a gut check. So then after all that, bro, he's Nothing. squeaky clean. He has taken no damage at all. So far, wow, boy. Like, huh? What type of hacks you got? So then Gojo's like, you realize you cannot hit me, right? So then he says, come here. Don't be shy. Come a little closer. Touch my hand. So he tries to touch his hand, hey, but dumb he can't. Ass. So I was like, huh? The f*** is this? So then Gojo's like, you feel that? This is called my infinity, a.k.a. my plot armor. So do you want to know what, what? you are, buddy? Your fodder. Good Ooh. God, bro, got the life out of this man. Then dog said, hold on, I ain't even done yet. Bitch, ass, nigga. Hiya. Then he says, oh, oh you really God. thought you was going to sneak me and get away with it? Nah, <laughs> you done for. Face. Oh, shoot. Ah. Oh, my God. Dog sent him flying and Look at him. He dragging that the down. Was like, wow. Get your ass out of my sight. Look at him. He dragging his dirty ass through the ground. And he tries to hit him with a gallic gun. Then he comes from behind me. He's like, well, if you don't sit your goof ass down. Oh, my God. He just. Oh, my God. Bro is gone. So then go. Yeah, he like, gone. Oh, this is a perfect time. He did. So this man leaves, goes and sees Itadori. And he's like, yo, do you want to watch me beat this nigga's ass? Huh? So what? He brings this man to the fight. So what he says, all right, my boy, class is in session. Today, we will be learning how to beat a nigga's ass 101. I would like to thank our This is so right disrespectful. Here, uh, I don't even know his name, but he will be used as a demonstration today. I beg your pardon? So then Dog's like, you mother... F hey, stop playing with my name, nigga. So then Gojo's like, <laughs> your name? Buddy, you are weak. You're trash. You have nothing, man. Half of the people that watch this show don't even know your name. Nope. I don't even know your no, name. I don't even remember his name either. Hold on. Hold oh, on, my God. Up real quick. Volcano Head in JJK. Really? Jugo? Jogo? Yeah, let's just go with Jugo. All I know is he looked like Squidward when he had the volcano on his head. But anyway. Oh, Rogue my God. God. Like, Stop playing with my name. So then he uses his domain expansion, and he done turned this bitch into Bowser's castle. So then Gojo's like, all right, Yuji, pay close attention. So bro takes off the blindfold and hits Ooh. him with the domain expansion. Beautiful nigga void. What? So bro's like, Ugh, what is this? Pause. But who is this beautiful ass nigga? Oh, then you Goku done for. Behind him and he's like, you know, man, it sucks being ugly. Trust me. I get it. Well, actually, I don't. He about to take his head clean off. But uh, let me put you out of your misery. I knew, I knew. Bro, he just ripped his head off with one hand, and to add to the disrespect, he stomped on his head. Like dog, the fact that he basically used this man as a punching bag to be an example after he just tried to sneak him and he left mid-fight. <laughs> Bro, that's disgusting.
Wow. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Our next moment Number is three? more JJK. This actually would have been okay. a Jujutsu Kaisen special if the last one wasn't JJK. But anyways, Toto beating the absolute brakes off of Fushiguro. Now you see oh this moment Lord, isn't here we just go. disrespectful. Nah, this is also one of the most down bad horrendously moments to ever exist. So Toto and Mai pull up and they talking mad shit. Mai said, heard your classmate died. Tell me, how hard did that pack hit? So really? Then Toto walks up to Fushi Girl and he says, Hey boy, what's your type? Depending on the answer that you give me will determine if I beat the shit out of you or not. Really? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> this has to be like, what you talking about? Things I've ever heard come out of somebody's oh, mouth. This hey, nigga is determined to run this man's fade if he does not like the exact same girls that he likes. So then he's like, Come on now, speak up. How you like him, nigga? I like him tall. With a fat ass boy. Come on now, I ain't waiting all day. So he's really like, all right, uh as long as she has good character, she's a ten. Are so you serious? Like, damn, bro. You got bad taste. Huh? So he blitzes this man. Good God, the clothesline from hell. Then he walks up to him and says, I knew it. Just by first glance, you a bitch ass nigga. So Fushi Girl pulls out these frogs, but bro what? flash steps and takes them to Suplex City. So then he starts pummeling them. He's like, fight back, nigga. You got bad taste and you sorry as hell. So then he oh my god. His face and slams him into the wall. He's like, hold on, little boy. I ain't done yet. He starts lifting this man up through the entire building. Good god. Yo, this is just brutal. So he's like, come on now, fight back, little boy. So Are you going to fight back? And Toge has to come and hit him with the chill out chill out then panda come in and he like yo what are y'all doing then toto says his taste is trash let me beat his ass but he's like ah forget it but next time i see your chest your taste better change boy yo the fact that this man toto almost beat this man fushi girl to death because his taste in woman is bad like uh, what? what bro basically took your waifu is trash to the extreme uh, i i'm just at a loss for words Oh my god. We have clashed with the kimono. Our only hope. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Our final moment. Probably if not final one of the moment. most disrespectful moments. Oh in boy, here we go. Perfect cell violating Vegeta. Oh um, my mercy, what can I say about Not my man. Boy, where do I start with this one? See, Vegeta's my guy. But he has his freaking moments where he just be like, he just can't do jack squat. You get him in that in that mode that he be so petrified to even do stuff. Yeah. He kind of like just gets numb in a bad way and just freezes up so bad and i mean i, I just let, let y'all see y'all probably already know this needs no explanation but you know what first of all these two buffoon ass niggas let's start off with this cocky bastard that same uh, really he's so had cocky. kicking in full gear huh bro really let this man go absorb 18 and he exactly was attacking trucks, the only person with common sense during this entire moment exactly my dog bro you deserve to get your ass handed to you oh and don't think i forgot about this bald bastard you have i know one job but you one job a little smooch one, one little job puck on the cheek and you was whipped into some cyborg coochie Bro said, f*** the earth, she bad as hell. Man, oh man, did these decisions come to bite y'all in the ass. So I and after does. absorbed 18 and became perfect, bro is Being just glorified too. by himself. Man, this is on narcissist level 100. And look at Vegeta, dumbass. Wow, he looks less intimidating. God, I thought we already learned this lesson with Frieza. When they look I know, right? intimidating, they're strong as they so then yeah, exactly. goes in and attacks this man. And bro ain't even paying him any attention. Man's is like, wow, 18 really had feminine hands. Then Trucks came in and started attacking him. And he is still paying them no attention at all. Then he ate the Destructo disc. Then he turns around and he's like, so you want to play little nigga? 
I oh, am Lord. witness Here we perfection. Go. Look at him. He's skipping to him. Then he gets up in his face and he's like, boo. Then bro breaks his neck and he is out cold. And look at him. He's like, uh, weak ass nigga. 16, you want to yep. do something? Yeah, that's right. Stay your big ass right there. So then here comes Vegeta. Here comes Vegeta. He's like, all right, I see you got that perfect jawline and everything now. So you ready to scrap? Then Cell says, uh, I guess you'll be a decent warm up. So Vegeta just starts exactly everything. But bro is just blocking it. Bro's like, my, my prince, you're going to have to do a little more than that to make me try now. So then Vegeta hits him with this kick and he's like, yeah, I did that. So nah, like, you ain't did nothing. Really? Trash ass boy. So Vegeta's like, huh? What is this? And <laughs> Cell's just laughing at him like. <laughs> exactly. He <laughs> laughing. With that corny ass name called Super Vegeta. Now let me show you how to throw a kick. So he kicks Ooh. the life out of this man. Look at him. He's flying through mountains. And then he just falls into the ocean. So Cell just starts talking. He's like, wow, you was talking all that good shit a second ago. Now look at your sorry ass. So then Vegeta does personally my favorite attack in anime. He starts oh. charging up the final flash. And Cell is just standing there watching him do it. Just Bro's watching him. Like, Man, you're putting on a great light show, buddy. This rivals Disney World's fireworks show. So then Vegeta just starts calling to him. Cell, you bitch <laughs> ass, fuck <laughs> ass If you think you hot, then stay your ass right there. So Cell's like, I He gonna stand there. So then Vegeta hits him with the final flash. And look at me like, oh my god. Oh, Still to oh, this day, Lord. I wonder, what poor planet did that blast end up landing on? I know, so right? He's like, oh my God, he's done it. Father's done it. So he blew off half of Cell's chest. So Cell says, oh, he actually hit me, damn it. So Vegeta's like, yes, I did it. I am him. So while Vegeta keeps on laughing, Cell says, stop laughing, damn it. <laughs> yes, stop laughing. Oh, oh Yep. <laughs> oh my God, bro! It's just the look <laughs> on his face that gets me every time. Every says, time. You forget that I had Piccolo cells as well, you dummy. So then Vegeta exactly. just losing it. He just starts spamming T-Blast. But we all know when Vegeta resorts to using the oh, spam T-Blast move, it's over. So <laughs> Cell just over. walks through it and just slaps him. So he kicks him to high heaven and hits him with the spike. Ooh. Yeah. Bruh. Oh, winner is I went to college. Grass. <laughs> Good God. Well, that was the most disrespectful moments in anime history five. Basically a JJK special with a little DBZ dab in there. I will have a poll on my Twitter and my IG later to see if y'all want homie right here on the table. I could either add him now or wait till the next art gets animated, which I'll you might well add him. Away. So we'll decide that on the other platforms, but uh hope y'all enjoy. Make sure to sub to the second channel. Follow you on IG and Twitter, and uh, I am out of here. Oh my God, yo, he he cannot be any right, any more better than what he just laid that out on. I'm telling you, that whole thing with Vegeta, though, he that's my man. I like Vegeta. I like him with a passion. But he be too fucking cocky, yo, for real. Like he, ugh. And that that was like the most, and that's like the most turning point of that whole part of the saga was like, oh, he let him get perfect so he can face him that and everything. I'm like, dude, like, why are you doing this, yo? Seriously, you just doing it so you can sit up there and be like yes i'm that guy or whatever just like he was saying you couldn't put it no better cj couldn't put it no better because he basically hit him blew a partial partial of his body off but then grew the arm back like it was nothing if he would have hit him with that final flash when he was like you know imperfect maybe it probably would have been did him some justice or something like that he probably would have grew back or whatever but i mean he probably would have got more of a chunk out of him than just an arm and a torso. You know? It's, bro. I can't, bro. I can't. But, yes.
make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you hit up that gaming channel and as always thank you for watching and hit that like button and hit post notifications other than that i'm out this thing this is bob signing off peace